to fix our start uh, our feed sliding in start animations so first we need to set the for move moving speed so in our blueprints if i open the blueprint character go to character movement see we have the max walk speed is 500 but our movement speed on the animation side for the jog cycle we have set it to 450 so we need to set the max walk speed to 450 right and now when we are running our there is not any feed sliding while running so in order to fix the sliding issue while start animation we need a one more function which is update local play rate one close all the tabs so I'm gonna create a new function I'm gonna call it update locomotion play rate and inside the function we remember we have all the moving speed applied into a rotation curve uh, sorry into curves so we have this moving speed I'm gonna copy this name moving speed and get curve value curve name is our moving speed and for safety I'm gonna clamp it into uh, actually at, after that so we have the speed variable our current speed I'm gonna use save divide for example if our current speed is 450 and our animation speed is let's say 300 so in order to match the proper feed towards the current speed we need to increase our play rate and if our animation speed is greater our moving speed is less we need to slower our animation rate so that's why we'll map the animation speed into a curves and then after that will you will use the safety wide with the current curve value and for safety reason i'm going to clamp it to minimum speed would be our 0.5 and maximum our 1.75 and then i'm gonna promote this to a variable play rate And now we need to connect this function so this function will go update locomotion play rate while running so this track locomotion state will be usable now remember we have created this function for using the one on enter exit while true so while true will update our locomotion play rate values so we'll connect we have connect this function while true update the locomotion play rate mm -hmm. and now go to the start animation and i'm gonna expose this to a variable and set it to play rate there we go same as for cycle expose pin and Add it to a play rate. There we go. Now, if I hit play, see our character is now properly perform start animation without any feed sliding and also goes toward the cycle state. There is a currently jitter when enter into start animation. We will fix that in future. Let me see what is going on here. Why this jitter occurs.
this occur when we are moving left there is not any let me check and to move left curve is valid zero to one just right that quick i need to go to my nodes 0.25 set it to 0.25 and set it to cubic now if I play so uh, sync group should be this should be our can be leader but we'll fix this in future this is a very rare issue this will only happen when we are moving left okay so next we need to fix uh, we need to add the stopping animations so we'll do the stop animations next so in order to fix the uh, fix this issue uh, let and we are going towards left there's a jitter occurs see we just need to uh, set the loop animation to false for our starting animations so for start we don't need to perform any looping uh, animations so loop should be false and that's it now our character can properly land towards the next animation But you can definitely play around with the sync markers however you want and according to your results so we have all the start and cycle animations already so next we need to add the uh, stopping animations so that when we release the input key their character should stop So in order to do that, I'm gonna go to my base locomotion layer, and here is our idle state. I'm gonna disconnect this state. I'm gonna add a state machine, and I'm gonna call it idle state machine. I'm gonna cut this sequence from here add a new state idle paste it over here so we have idle sequence over here so but we need in order we need to first perform the stop animation then towards the idle so i'm gonna add a new state which is our enter state and our next state will be our run stop state so we need to go to run stop mm, if our get speed is let's say greater than just go through my notes real quick just a moment So we need to go to run stop if our speed is let's say greater than 200 we we'll perform the run stop and then after that we'll plan towards the idle animation automatic plan would be true so if our speed is not greater than then we just simply plan towards the idle and i'm gonna set the default transition to true so, and then after that i'm gonna set the priority order to this should go first priority order one and this should go two so we need to check first 
if there is a valid state for performing run stop so for example if we are running then the the priority order will take and care will take care of the run stop either we need to perform run stop or not so see run stop is fired and our character is in idle state so in order to add the run stop i'll add a new go toward the echo animation and here we have the animation for idle idle to jog forward jog forward to idle there we go so we have this animation i'm gonna simply grab the animation add it over here and set the play rate sorry play rate will be fine and start position will be 0.2 so at this point our animation should play so now if I play this animation is playing So our feed is currently sliding when we are performing stop animations. So in order to fix that, I'm going to double check my properties, character movement properties. Let me go through my nodes real quick. So max acceleration is fine. Breaking friction zero. Use separate breaking friction should be false. And ground friction is 5 and then we have the mag breaking deceleration walking is 1000 1, now if I hit play again and test there we go now you can see our character perform the turn, perform the stopping animations as well But we have another issue that when you go into pivoting state, the, the character just rotate crazily. And you, currently, you can see this happens. So, in order to fix that, we need to change our blend settings. So, I'm going to go to base locomotion layer. And when we are when we are going towards the idle state instead of a standard blend we will use the inertialization so inertialization and then at the animation graph we'll use the inertialization node so inertialization blend is a separate is a separate thing you can also google it out so I'm gonna filter curve. I'm gonna add the curve here to rotation curve. There we go. So when we are performing the inertialization blend, we don't need to take care of the rotation curve. So, which means our character just uh, our rotation curve value just snaps towards snap towards zero value instead of so previously. When we are going from running to walk, our rotation curve value is going from 1 to 0, a blend. But instead of that blend, so our value goes from 1 to 0. And then when we go from idle to walk, the value goes from 0 to 1. So that's why the strange rotation occurs because the rotation curve changes pretty quickly. So we need to use inertialization blend for that and when we're performing the initialization blend we don't need to take care of the rotation curve so this will fix our issue and let's check it out see our character just performs stop 
and then at the next frame the character goes toward the start animation again I'm gonna play it in slow-mo slow-mo let's say 0.25 see our character perform proper start animation without any feed sliding and then go to stop and then perform this animation again there we go So now we have the job functionalities properly set up and it's ready. So in our next uh, videos, we'll set up the remaining functionality, which is this. I'm gonna play the build currently the result. So in our next video, we'll set up the same case with walking. And also we'll set up the turn in place. See our character perform turn in place. If the input if we release the input key and also we'll also add the a uh, orientation warping and stride warping see when our character just stops by an object the character should know where the velocity is in order to blend the legs towards that direction and adjust the stride length